Speaking of that, I do have a question. So mm -hmm. cannabis has cannabis has mil, many healing benefits. CBD has many healing benefits. Now, harnessed in modern context as it's very therapeutic, uses have become increasingly understood. But I would love for you to bust some common cannabis and CBD myths that are being perpetuated out here from people who just lack the knowledge of knowing the truth about this glorious plan. Mm. Well, you said that so eloquently. Thank you. You need to be a post style. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. I ain't got to say nothing else. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you got that. What's myth number one? Just any of the myth, the common myths. I don't have the myths written down, but any of the common, like one that you just mentioned about CBD gets you high. That's very common. So you're saying it doesn't get you high. That's right. It does not. N-O-T. Does not. Okay. Any CBD product. Okay. Let's just make sure we understand it. CBD is one cannabinoid in the plant. It's not the plant. It is a part of the plant. Mm. Okay? So, CBD does not have enough THC, which is why it's legal, to get you high. It's more healthy and balanced. Although people think they feel it high because of the feeling they're probably not familiar with. So, that euphoria or that, that zen or that calmness is what the CBD does because that's what it, that's what it helps with. So the more you take, the more balanced you feel. But when you don't take it, just like everything else, you're out of way. So keeping a consistent regimen is where the benefit of CBD is felt the most. Um, if you take CBD, you won't pop dirty. That is true, and it's not true. So I'm gonna give you, there's three major type of CBD products on the market that we know right now. Just CBD. We ain't talking about nothing with a number. Just CBD. That's it. You got full spectrum. Full spectrum is the one that has everything, in it, including the small amounts of THC. So if you have a job that's sensitive to any type of urinalysis, you never want to touch full spectrum. However, don't mean you can't have CBD. It just means you can't have full spectrum CBD. What can you take? Well, broad spectrum. So broad spectrum is in the middle. It has no THC, but everything else that full spectrum has, broad spectrum has, except for the THC. So for all you sensitive people that can't have THC, you go in the store and you ask for broad spectrum or an isolate which is all CBD and nothing else. No other cannabinoid in that plant, I mean, in that product, except for an isolated form of CBD. It's pure, 99.9%, .9%, but it contains no, nothing else but CBD. Nope. Yeah, that makes sense? So it's three different kinds. Broad, we're going to say full, broad, isolate. And stay so, away from the fool so you don't away from the, Stay away from the fool if you if have you to get a your analysis, your analysis, because you will pop. And it's pop. The levels may not be where it may be an issue for you, but it's still going to dirty you. It's going to still put, put you dirty. Community. Are you coded? 
Choose the comfortable, stylish, eco-friendly clothing with Coated Leaf. That's right, Coated Leaf offers a full line of organic loungewear from t-shirts, which are my absolute faves, to socks, panties, sweatsuits, and more that caters to both men and women. Caters to everybody, y'all, of all shapes and all sizes. That's right. Their mission is simple. To make high quality apparel while protecting our planet by sustaining its resources. Discover sustainable fashion at your fingertips today. The leaves change, but the code remains. Get coded today. Visit their Facebook page at symbol Coded Leaf or visit www.codedleafinc for more information. Do something awesome for yourself while making a tremendous impact in our world. This information is also located in the show notes. Blessings and abundance. You and I had a beautiful conversation in regards to, I asked you about the plant that healeth all things. And that is in the Bible. And we were talking about how when it comes to cannabis, when it comes to CBD, you had mentioned that every religion speaks to this plant. You said it is the plant. I said, do you believe it's the plant, Roz, that heals all things? You said it is the plant and it's actually shared in all religions and spiritual practices. I would love for you to expand upon that because I just don't hear anybody talking about that and sharing that because there are so many different religions that really speak against it. So I would love for no, you that's to keep people, on. There's people that speak people. against it. People yeah. speak against it. Okay. In this, in this original form, it was used as the medicine that all he gave us, everything we need was in that plant. So man and uh, politicians and people that don't give a shit about us made those decisions, made those choices. So uh, still got to be your own. You, you got to be your own advocate and do some due diligence. You know, I think if you look at, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. I be, there is a the most high and me, we got a good relationship. Don't you worry about that. However, I think that you know, people's mindsets, people they scare people into thinking things so they can control them. You know, that's what I think. And I think with the with the, the media, the politics that go on, all of the, the misinformation, you know, all of the uh lack of self-accountability. I think it really put this culture in a bad spot. Good, good position, but just in a bad light and so certain folks, is, you know, uh, you know, mindset. So that's where I'm. I, I come in. It's not true, but yes, in every religion there is a plan. I think I even saw it in, in a, on a, a document. It wasn't a documentary. It might have been a, um, a YouTube video where they actually have these on uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics. There are. There is a, a plant on a it's one uh goddess in particular. I got I can't think of the name, they're so hard to pronounce. Anyway, but it was it was a it was a god goddess that was there that the plant on her head on the in the original writing was of a of a cannabis leaf. You know, and a lot of the the foreign countries already use it. America's the one that made it bad. Sorry, America, I love y'all, but it's the plant is the, the God's gift to us. Your yeah. God, whoever you serve, yeah. Allah, Jehovah, yes, wh whoever they are, Allah, whoever, I don't know, whoever you serve. There's so many of them, I'm confused. Yes. But there's one most high, whoever you could name your most high, they all got together and still gave us the endocannabinoid system, and you can't deny that. 1,000. So, so do it's, it's it is there is a of of there is is one it's two things that I, I watched that kind of floored me other than you know I, I get floored quickly when it comes to this stuff because it just 
it's so it's 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 so it's such a travesty of what what was done. Like when I was coming up, they wanted to put me on ADH medicine. I was five years old. Trick. I just want to have fun. I'm not hypersensitive or hyperactive. Trick. I want to go outside and play. I don't want to. I don't want to do that regular stuff. Y'all boring. So they label me as a problem kid at five. I'm 58. I knew better. I just knew I was I was different. So I think differently. So I'll step out on a limb and try something that a normal person wouldn't do. Because I've researched enough for me to feel comfortable. So that's what I tell people. Do enough research for you to feel comfortable. And then if you have other questions, then you seek out you seek out some other folks. Me or I'm not an expert in everything. I don't have no degrees. I got a degree on my life. It's enough, trust me. I can write a book. I can write a whole encyclopedia series if I had the chance. Uh, would you? Would you? In the future, yeah. the opportunity presented itself. If I could talk about, if I can put it in a way where it made a story, and if it was, yeah, it had to. Oh, my life was a movie, like Raheem and Mookie. Yeah. I might have to put that on the big screen. <laughs> okay, literally, literally, <laughs> literally, literally. Yeah. I have two more questions for you. Okay. The first question is cannabis in relation to other plant medicines, such as ashwagandha, black seed oil, mushrooms. And yeah. Lord, listen. Because it seems that cannabis is a universal medicine. Like everything be that you're going to be a poster child. I'm okay. sorry. You're going to be a poster child. Who could be a you poster child? Got to, you, are, you already, you, you already, you saying it. I'm just going to confirm. Okay. So definitely, okay, so because it seems it is the universal medicine then because all these other plants, they do specific things, but it seems like when it comes to cannabis, it does all of that in one. It seems like cannabis is, like I said, all of it and more. So that is true. In this, so to speak, you know, there's always some extra shit that we don't really think about. So cannabis to me is an upgrade to anything you're doing. So if you're already doing natural remedies, add CBD to it. It's not going to hurt you. I guarantee you 99% out of the time, but well maybe not 99%, but well more times than not, it's going to enhance what you've already done. If you need to see true proof, I tell the person, pick a reference point. Find something that bothers you, whether it's your sleep, whether it's your mood, whether it's the pain, and find one product from a reputable place like this that you can try it. And then you decide. Don't worry about Raheem and Pookie. They don't know what you're dealing with or what I'm dealing with. So it's an individual journey that you must take some self-accountability in understanding why it works. The same energy you give to that those over-the-counter medicines that's still pr pr present in everybody's cabinet, I'm sure, and those prescriptions that you probably got by the boatload in your, in your, in your drawer, instead of that, Eat a thing gonna come in, man. Listen, I just got these today. Literally, people do have now this right here. They do. Yeah. So I, I I'm gonna put it 23 is about me. I'm saying it to you. You look at yourself like this about me. I gotta feel better so I can give more. I mean, we can have affirmations all day, but if your mind screwed up, you just spitting out words. You're not making any movement toward making that come to fruition. But if your mind in the right place, shit, what? There's a lot of things you can do. And even when stuff don't go great, CBD just helps you not take it to that rabbit hole. Yeah. I love that, Roz. What's a life verb that you live by that supports you in your journey of purpose? A life verb means living in action, and it also supports your destiny, your commitment. It's your commitment to purpose. So what would your life verb be? Is that that's one word? It could be a quote. It could be a sentence. It could be whatever you like it to be. I trust the process, no matter mm -hmm. where it takes me. 
I trust and, and, and it, I trust the process. That's all I've been saying the last couple of years. When I was on my hands and knees by myself, crying in my own, you know, sitting in my own tears, trust the process. This shit can't last forever, baby. Just hang tight and eat that goddamn CBD we gave you. And meditate. Use these other modalities, other herbs. I take Saint, I take ginkgo. I take uh, I take chlorophyll. I take uh, sea moss. I take um, nootropics, which is some new stuff I just found out about one of my customers. It is a mental. It's, it's mushrooms. It's kind of like a, it's a mushroom blend. It's, they have mushrooms and herbs that serve as mental stimulants. That's next coming. I just ordered nootropics. Nootropics. N O O T R O P I C S. So if you know somebody that's battling battling with slight memory loss or you know lack of focus, those nootropics help. And now they're combining those with CBD as well. This is this is the, this is the year that we get to self care for real. It's out there. It's not going nowhere. Time still tick as you sit there. You got to make a decision to get up and do something different this year. That's it. You know, everybody said, I'm going to do this in 2023. Well, what difference is 22 is to this? How different are you then than you are now? Have you tried something different? You still got the same pain? You still can't sleep? Then you're not doing something that you need to be doing that, or that you could be doing. Open up your mind because a closed mind can't get fed. Period. 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 period, right? Period. Yeah. Period. Period. Shout out to Cosma Marie on the period. Yeah, shout out to Cosma Marie on the period. I see you drinking that. Is that the moon water? That's the moon, the moon water. Water. Yes, the best <laughs> water out there, you all. Moon jug. Go mm -hmm. get that in your environment. Juice. Roz, share with the audience. Where can they find you? Where are your shops located in Georgia? Um, the website is scrolling, so therefore she does ship, she delivers. Let this be, you all. I bring people on here who know what they're talking about and who are experts. The best of the best. So when it comes to all of your cannabis CBD needs, Roz is the person. She has bath bombs. She has juice. She has CBD Cheetos, honey. Okay. Name it. She got it. Look at that store. Look, look at that. Look at that. CBD paradise. Okay. All types of things. Plus the knowledge and the education and the science and the wellness insights. That part. That part. That part. That's that part. what's number one. To, to give and provide to you, okay? Where are your shops, Roz? Give us all the deeds. All right, guys. So you can find me at 801 Church Street. It's in Marietta. It's right next down the street from uh, the emergency room hospital, right next to Jimmy John's and Starbucks, right here on Church Street. We also have a CBD wellness lounge where we do a lot of little small intimate events, paint and sips, uh, meditation. We do yoga. We do smoke parties. We do, we're working on some cannabis cooking. I just got my uh, bartender license. So we just um, rolling out our new dope spirit line where it's going to be a, I, I do the drinks. That's all I can say. Uh, you can find me. Uh, that's at 668 Windy Hill over there in uh, Smyrna. Um, you can also find me at the www.thecbdjointcollective.com uh, at the CBD Joint Collective on IG, Instagram. Google me. I'm all over. Just call me. My phone number is everywhere. If you need to ask a question, I'm always, usually I'm here. I love talking about CBD because the more of us that know about it, the more it will be used as a regiment, the better we're going to feel. Because to me, I think hemp is the, the thing that will help humanity get back to some real healthy kind of thinking. You know, you know, and I think together, just us knowing this different, you have an option. Whether you decide on that is up to you. But when you're ready to take that CBD step, I'm here for you. Rise the GOAT, CBD owner, CBD joint owner, CEO. I'm still learning this life thing, but as I grow, you know, I share. 
And Roz, when you say that they can contact you, your phone number, would you like to state it here or can we put that in the show notes? Yeah, 267-278-1772. That's my personal number. Don't call when it's inappropriate hours. But you can have it because if you Google it, you're going to get it anyway. So I'm going to give it to you to make it easy for you. Also, now, Rob, what are inappropriate hours for you? Because everybody's inappropriate hours are different. Uh, 11, 11 p.m. to like 9 a.m. Unless it's emergency. Oh, and don't forget, we got a brand new, still working on a 24-hour CBD vending machine that is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is located at our Windy Hill store, and she is still waiting for one part because I did something bad and I messed her up, so now I had to get her fixed. Well, well she's a beauty. The now, are you Brookhaven at all? I thought you had said something about Brookhaven, or no? Did I dream that? Oh no, the CBD Joint Experience is at the Battery. That's every last Sunday of the month. Every last Sunday of the month, we at the Battery. If you want to learn anything about CBD or all the all, all these we do sound bowls too, we got a great sound bowl person. Um, everything we do is always infused. We don't do anything. So if you're not open to trying even a gummy, then you know you might waste your time. If you're open, hey, come on down. If you're not open, by the time you finish talking to me, eh, you might have a different way of thinking. But it, it, it definitely is. It depends on the how, how, how much the person want to feel better. You know, because we don't get out of here alive. None of us getting out of here alive. So enjoy the journey. CBD helps. I love that. <laughs> I, I love that, Roz. Thank you so much, and you are welcome back anytime. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I appreciate spreading the love, honey. Because you know, anytime I can get to run my traps, I'm I'm on there. I know that facts. This is true. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. Roz's life verb literally speaks volumes. Enjoy the process. Trust the process. No matter where it takes you, trust the process. And it's so important for you to educate yourself. You will have naysayers and people who say, well, that's not great. Why are you doing this? It's not for them. It's for you so that you can elevate your flow state so live your life for you and not for anybody else that's it <laughs>